Hey y'all, amateur artist Mar D channel once again from Manland, and I'm all excited about the VU 2 coming up here in October the 14th, 15th, and 16th of the year of 2016 there at Roosevelt State Park held in Morton, Mississippi. I know I seem like I keep repeating myself, but we ain't got much time left. It's very, very important. If y'all are gonna make the attendance, please go to the Facebook link that you see in the description box below and give them a holler at, let them know that you plan on attending. That helps them out as far as a head count. It's very, very important that you do that. Now, the meat of this here video, well, I'm not gonna explain it a whole lot. I'll tell you as I go. What I got here is the firebox, and I'm running out of daylight, so I'm using the lighter to get this thing going. We got pine straw in there. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my sticks in there and get them a burning. I'm trying to beat the daylight going out. Some of these sticks are bit itty bitty. Some of them are, I put them in there wrong. Y'all don't do as I do, do it the right way. But I'm, I'm pressed for time here. I'm trying to save me some light. I'm trying to do a little upside down fire here, I guess you might say. Putting the big stuff on the bottom, the small stuff on top. I think it's gonna work pretty good. But the meat of the video, what this is about, is to show you how to make a stainless steel skillet or a piece of cook pot and we're going to turn it into a non-stick apparatus. Many a time I've seen folks cooking out there, you know, and I'm sure they don't mind. I don't mind. But really, if you don't want it to, be, to, to stick like your eggs and stuff like that, there's a real simple way of doing this, and that's why I'm trying to get this thing going while I still have some daylight. Now, the firebox that you see right there in front of you happens to be the original firebox that was sent to me by Craig forest walker 111 so y'all please 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 go check out craig's channel his description to his video channel of course is in the description box below okie dokie knocking them sticks down there real good we got a stainless steel oli camp uh, fry pan here that i got from jen over at full circle outdoors 414 now you see the bottom of it's already got some that's got some stuff on there, but it's not soot or smut. Now the the firebox. Anytime you burn wood, you're gonna get soot on the bottom of your of your pot there or your pan. No big deal. I'm just gonna set it on here for right now. You know what? I'm gonna have to have them. Yep. I'm trying to do this real quick. All right, placing these little cross members in there right quick make everything a little bit more stable I'm gonna go ahead and add some sticks in there now I did not cut any holes in this thing like the one video y'all saw everybody kept telling me that the firebox generation 2 has the slots cut out but since this is being a collector's item we're not gonna do that no oh, that'll work fine well we got the water out so let me check the camera angle so y'all can see exactly what I'm doing here is the process. Pour a little cooking oil in there, just a bit. Swirl this thing around mighty good and keep it up above the fire. It's best if you actually have a flame to do this with. What you're gonna do, because this is very thin metal, it takes no time at all to heat this oil up. And you wanna bring this oil up to a smoking temperature. And you can already start to see the little swirls and stuff in there that's actually adhering to the pan itself. That's the impurities in the water. When the water evaporated, the oil is actually attaching to the, to the impurities of the water droplets that were in there. And we're going to heat this puppy up until she starts to smoking. Cool sound. Oh yeah. I didn't know it was a musical instrument. All right, now the oil's starting to smoke. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can tell. And you can see that real dark rim starting to build around the edges where the oil's actually starting to burn. That's mighty okie dokie, ain't nothing wrong with it. Remember, that is a really hot fire right there. You don't want to cook on a super hot fire. But in this instance, to make this right here non-stick, that's precisely what we want right at this moment. We're heating it up. 
and the oil is smoking really really good now you can do this several times but in this case right here I'm just gonna pour this oil out get rid of it now while this burns down I'm gonna let this pot cool down and we'll show you the non-stick ability now here is the trick the fire is still pretty high and but what you want to do is when you put your vessel on top of the fire you do not want the heat of the fire to exceed what it took to actually burn the oil so you, we want this to burn down the coals to a smaller reduced heat to be able to cook upon now using the firebox you don't add but like a stick or two at a time to keep that temperature low what we're going to do once this burns down back to coals we're going to set the pan back on top and the only thing I can think of right now to show you the non-stick ability of this fry pan right now as it is is some cheese now I've done this video before utilizing cheese let's just see how it turns out on an actual firebox stove and it's starting to burn down now alrighty now I'm rushing this video y'all but the uh, fire has actually burned down got a little bit of a flame but we got more embers in there than anything so now we're gonna put a little fry pan back on top let this start heating up and I'm gonna dump as I used to say sacrifice some cheese cheese is one of the world world one of the world's worst things to actually stick might as well put it all in there I'm cooking hamburgers later on tonight if I had enough time I would have actually made a real cooking video now this part right here is not going to be edited I want y'all to see this cheese as it potentially burns excuse the shakiness of the cam we're gonna zoom in The cheese is now burning in the fry pan. It's melting really, really good. Mm. <sighs> Smells great, don't it? Mm -hmm. It sure do. Now keep in mind, this is not cast iron. I think you can see just underneath the fry pan we have coals only, no actual flame. That metal's so thin you just don't need a huge flame to cook on this right here is guaranteed to fry your eggs your bacon well I'm saying bacon because bacon is a whole different creature you got to be careful with bacon but we're getting a real nice brown area around this cheese it's actually starting to, to brown up good and crisp which means it should really really stick stop feeling with that boy you make a noise Alrighty. Now, no need to really let that go any further. I'm watching the screen to make sure that I'm in frame here. I'm gonna let. Oh, that smells great. Oh, if that'd been on some cheese toast, that'd be excellent. Grilled cheese. Why didn't I do grilled cheese out here? But now it's really, really brown. This area right here is almost. It's just before getting black, so it's really caramelized. And as I'm turning it, this pan does not lock, so I'm going to be careful. As I'm turning it, the cheese is just running all over the sides. You see some oil and the oil from the cheese. Now, you see that cheese right there just oozing down by itself? It's not sticking to the pan. I'm actually going to try to tap this while still in frame. Now, what about the rest of it? Well, here's a stainless steel cookie spatula and we're going to give it a little scrape look at there look at that folks we've got almost a perfectly clean skillet here all by a real simple little technique so you can indeed turn your stainless steel cookware and make it into non-stick now 
you, once you wipe this out and you use it over and over again you're going to have to continue to repeat that process because this stainless steel is not like cast iron cast iron holds onto that oil and then builds up that coating over a period of time stainless steel does not well for the most part it doesn't because I'm like everybody else I use soap and water to scrub and wash everything out so I have to keep treating it each and every time but it doesn't take any time at all to treat it so there you go non-stick stainless steel out there in the sticks while you're cooking with sticks <laughs>